Hey everyone, a new video for you. I am going to be doing some ripples, some lines. Um, before I start talking on and on about ripples, I'm just going to tell you what I have mixed in here in my little plastic cup. I didn't want to film it because it's, uh, it's so boring sometimes just watching people mix colors. So, But um, I'm using uh, Copic Violet. And I mixed that in my little plastic cup with some ISO and a, a few drops of brass. So I am going to be doing the same technique as I showed you in one of my last videos, how to do ripples. Um, for this piece, I want my ripples or my lines to be very, very soft. Um, I, I don't know. I was kind of in a... Maybe I was being a little bit of a softy when I when I was doing this, but I want it to be sort of a little subtle. Um, and I want to make a flower. And I want it to be, I don't know, a little a little different because just because it's fun to make different looking kinds of flowers. There are so many people who do such beautiful flowers and and flowers are so much fun to do with ink. Um, for this one, I wanted sort of the shape and, and the direction of the flower to be a little a little weird. Um, so what you see right now in the in the top of the screen is actually going to be the bottom of this painting. And I want the flower to sort of turn sideways, just because it's fun. I'm going to sort of work my way around in a circle with these ripples. I'm not going to go all the way around. Sort of half a circle is what I'm, I'm planning on doing. Um, like I said, I'm using this, the technique that I showed you in, in one of my other videos. And I'm only going to use one color for this. You can definitely do more. Um, I thought about mixing in some blue, but I, I decided not to just because I think I love purple very much. So just um, quickly talking about the, the technique for these ripples or lines, if you haven't seen uh, the other video, it's basically picking up the paper, tilting it a tiny little bit, so that the ink and ISO run down towards your hair dryer, and then moving your hair dryer back and forth. I'm just using the air right here to to mix it in a little because I added some extra ISO, um, and you can do that if if you don't really have enough to make the ripples. Uh, on this piece, like I said, I wanted sort of soft lines, and I want some spots where there are lines and some where there aren't any um, just to give it sort of a, a different a different look but you could you could make a piece like this and just do lines all over the place and it would be really really pretty too now I was thinking about also maybe doing a video because someone asked if I could um, show how to make um, a more individual petals and I'm I'm thinking it could be fun to do that tiny little petals with a lot of ripples in it that would be that would be fun too so I, I might do that now you can see me I just, I just keep adding more of, of my ink and ISO and sometimes a little extra ISO and you can you can just keep adding it um, if you want to sort of continue um, if you want to sort of have a line where where it sort of ends and then you start a new one then dry it first but if you want to sort of make a, a bigger spot with these ripples you just add some more um, ink and ISO really now I only used um, a few drops of brass um, in this because Sometimes it, it tends to take over a bit once you start doing these ripples. Um, so just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit extra brass later, but I'm just going to see if I can catch the light so you can see it. There's some very nice lines with, with the brass. 
I'm going to add a little bit extra though. I'm just going to turn a light on, a lamp on, so that you can see it maybe a bit more clearly. And I'm just going to clean up a bit because there are a few spots that I wasn't really too fond of. So I'm just going to wipe a little of it off. I get a little too... I, I become a bit of a perfectionist sometimes. So I have to remove these little things that I don't like. You shouldn't be too much of a perfectionist though with, with ink because, well, you can't really ink have a mind of their own and you just have to accept that. But I just wanted to make it a little prettier, I think. So I'm going to put some, uh, some brass on this little piece of paper. I'm gonna get my brush. Now this is sort of very flat brush just gonna dip it into the ink and then make some some extra lines just enhance it a little bit i don't want to go completely overboard um with the brass i feel like the flower sort of has a very soft look so i want just a tiny bit of brass sometimes i go completely crazy with metallics and i just it's just all over and i love it but other times i just want it to be soft but brass is just so amazing it's, it's so hard to control yourself sometimes how do you feel about that do you just go completely overboard with metallics or can you sort of control yourself a little bit i'm i'm really controlling myself with this one uh, now uh, a thing that i i think i forgot to sort of talk about in the other ripples video um is how much ink and how much ISO you mix in together. And I I just want to say there is, I don't really have a specific recipe for you. You have to sort of, it's it's a good idea to mix in some, some ink and ISO and then make like a little sample. Start making these ripples and see how clearly they appear. Um, make a few samples if you need to try and add a little extra ISO, a little extra ink, so that the ripples end up looking the way you want them to. Um, just, you know, if you have some leftover paper that you cut off or something, make a few samples to see if the ripples are as clear as you want them to be um, before you start making your actual painting. Now, for those of you who, who watched my other ripples video, all, all of you newbies, have any of you tried it out? Have you started playing around with these ripples? I would love to hear if if you're having fun with this or if you maybe not enjoying it too much. I love doing these ripples. There's so much fun and, and endless possibilities, really. But So I, I'd love to hear if any of you have, have tried it out, sort of for the first time. Um, just adding a little bit more of the brass but I'm I'm actually quite quite pleased with this um flower. I think it turned out really fun and I'm loving the color. I am a little in love with purple, but I do think the Copic violet is is a really pretty color. Um I I'm really I like the the shape of this. Um it's not exactly the way I I sort of imagined it, but but I actually think I like this better than what I what I planned. The shape is really cool, I think. And that's the good thing about ink. You can't control it completely, but sometimes things turn out better than you expect it. What do you think about this? Do you like it? Is it weird? I got little little extra lines in there with the brass. I really like it. I'm gonna make a little stem too. This kinda needs one. Um I'm going to use um, a Copic marker, black Copic marker, and I want to make this stem sort of thin um, because the flower is, it's a little big, a little, uh, it takes up a lot of space, so I want the stem to be a little thin. It's fun to make it sort of, the flower is a little overdimensional. I'm just going to go over this line a few times 
with the Copic marker. Um, this is black, but it's a little grayish. But when you sort of go over the line several times, it gives it a really cool look, I think. Um, a little rustic. Sometimes you can get almost like a three-dimensional look with these uh, Copic markers, which I really, really like. Now, I, I thought about adding some leaves to this, but I'm just going to keep it like this, simple, minimalistic. I, I think it fits the flower. So, I'm going to zoom in a little here. What do you think about this one? I'm actually quite pleased. It's a little different than I usually do flowers, so... Um, I'm happy with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you want to see more of my stuff, you subscribe to my channel, and um, I will see you again real soon.